Orissa, unfortunately, is the least of the developed states in India. The very poor live on less than one dollar a day. There is no public transport coming there. Electricity is available for one or two hours a day. People have no toilets. They are extremely poor. So we said, okay, if you really want a challenge, be challenged by the poorer state. Graham Vickers, which literally means village development, first sees this challenge in 1979 when it began working in Orissa. In the mid-1990s, it launched a new program to transform communities by changing the way they used water. We went back and analyzed why people were falling ill. Basically, people used to go in the open, defecate, and they used to mostly defecate near the water sources. Contaminated water causes diseases like hepatitis, cholera, and diarrhea, which alone was killing nearly 2,000 Indians a day, most of them children. To prevent these diseases, Graham Ficus came up with a solution as simple as it was ambitious. All of a sudden, we thought if every family had a toilet and a shower room, and they could be protected, water supplied, these diseases could be prevented. But even if one family in a habitation of 100 families did not practice sanitation, they could pollute the entire water of that village. So it had to be 100% today and forever to come. Because success depended on the whole community, every single family would have to agree to change its sanitation habits and to contribute money an average of about $22 to a common fund. Grambikas realized that the village needed sort of an endowment fund towards repairs, maintenance, and if necessary, additional facilities. And it is expected that every household will contribute its share of endowment. Once every family commits, Graham Ficus trains people as masons and painters. More than 75% of all contribution in form of labor and material comes from the people themselves. They build a quality toilet and bathing room for each family. But getting every family to participate is not always easy. No, not interest Ram Chandra Bahira led Graham Vikas's effort in Bahalpur, a village whose seven different castes lived together but often did not speak to each other. His task was made more difficult because he came from one of India's lowest castes, the Dalits, or untouchables. Ram was not accepted by the mainstream community. Initially, they considered him as a joker for taking on this challenge. But Ram persisted, explaining to all the villagers how clean water could solve their health problems. successful <laughs> Eventually, the citizens of Bahalpur not only built new toilets and bathhouses, they took the unprecedented step of electing Ram president of their village. The lower caste people, for the first time they're going to treat it equally. For them, it's like a dream come true. Today, the man once considered untouchable performs his official duties on a motorcycle the village bought for him. Just a few miles away, in Samiapali, it was Pato Pratham, the village leader's wife, who took on the challenge of organizing her community. Pani 
तार तार दिहर जो दिन ना उठी हो बोले कि बाहर जगह को जाइ कि आमर आउट को से आड़ होते सेड जाइ रहा हूँ तुम्हें। With the help of Graham Vickers, Pato mobilized the village to tackle the sanitation problem, installing water and toilets for every house. But that was just the beginning. All of a sudden, most people, and especially Pato, began to say, our toilets are better than our houses. Can we do something? What they did was nothing less than build a whole new town. They borrowed money from a housing development bank. From then onwards, these people have not stopped. So, आगे जो दूर हो जाओ तुलु, ऐसा में वो कहते लॉस्ट हो तुला। तब रे बे घरे जो हैला, पांड अगी नालो सिग्र काम करलो, बाहरों को गोलो काम करिया पायरे। इड़ा ठीक है सुविधा हैला। Today, the pond that used to make people sick now helps to feed the village. The old dirt roads have been paved. And for the first time, most children are getting an education. Using water and sanitation as an entry point, the whole village is put into a new trajectory to better health, better schooling, better living environment, and full of hope. That is the transformation. Graham Vickers has now reached more than 700 villages and 50,000 families. Their efforts have eliminated 85% of all waterborne diseases in those communities. They feel a sense of pride. It is ours. It is not government, so it is not Graham Vickers, it is ours. So potentially, the market, so to speak, is at least 350 million rural folks in this country. My dream coming true is what Mahatma Gandhi said. Sustainable, independent village republics where the villagers are able to take care of all their needs and governance where all people will progress together, where we truly believe all for one, one for all.